What is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Mass Sergeant Kevin Osby, and I'm your senior enlisted advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Before we get started with our guest today, I would like to introduce my lovely co-hosts, Leah Matthews and Julie Mitchell. How y'all doing, ladies? Good morning. Hi. Good to see you. Hi. Great to see you. So today we have a really, really, really special guest today. That's an amazing actor, and he just recently had a birthday. So happy belated birthday to you, uh, our, our mystery guest. So Julie, please introduce today's guest. We are so excited about today's guest. He is known for his roles in Battlestar Galactica, Knight Rider, and Spun Out. His new show, Turner and Hooch, is premiering on Disney Plus on July 16th. Please give a warm chief chat welcome to actor Paul Campbell. Hey. Hi. Hi. I, I got to say, you introduced, you said I was a really, really, really good actor. I've never had three reallys before, so you've already won me <laughs> over on this show. <laughs> yeah, once you go, you, normally it's like for real, for real. It, if you say it twice, it's like legit. It's You're certified if you got three. <laughs> three is for life. That's it. You, yeah. can't, you can never take that back now. Exactly. Hot okay. takes here at the exchange for you. That's for sure. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here. Excellent. Paul, thanks so much for joining us and everybody watching. You know what to do. Let us know where you're tuning in from. And if you have questions uh, for Paul, you can leave those in the comments too. We will read those live. Um, we host Chief Chats every week. So follow our page and make sure your video notifications are turned on so you don't miss a moment. We have fantastic fantastic military exclusive guest for you all summer. So Paul, thank you so much for joining us on Chief Chat. I'm happy to be here. This is, I'm really, really, really happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> this is three release. I know, this is just what we're doing today. Yeah, listen, we are, we're certified now. Chief Chat is now certified. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul gave us three really, so thank you that's so the, much. That's the, that's the Canadian stamp of approval right there, three reallys. Absolutely. Let, can you let our viewers know where you're calling us from? Yeah, I'm calling from Vancouver, British Columbia. Man, how, how's the weather up there? Uh, it's a little cloudy today, but w last week we had, it was the hottest spot on the planet, literally. We broke uh, something like 59 records, federal records for heat. It was, it was the hottest spot on the planet and uh, it, was, uh, it was warm. It was really warm. We're happy to have a little cloud cover now because that was pretty bad. Nobody in Vancouver has air conditioning because no one's ever needed it. Oh, and gotcha. people were like, oh no! We should get air conditioning now. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I can't stand a hot house personally, but in Texas, we have to have the air conditioning, or it's not good at all. So yeah. I, I feel you. Oh, man, that's terrible. I'm glad it cooled off for you this week, though. Exactly. A in the bit, last, yeah. In the, la the last place I would think of as being the hottest place on earth on any particular day <laughs> would would probably never be uh, <laughs> Van uh, British Columbia, Vancouver, British Columbia. So. Uh, that's uh, none of us did either. That's why no one has air conditioning. They're like, Wait, what? <laughs> what? What's happening here? And, uh, <laughs> do you go to like the the fan aisles in in any of the big box stores? Not a like even the those little stupid little battery powered ones that you just yeah. wave in front of your face. <laughs> were like gone. The shelves were just empty. <laughs> yeah, man. Well Paul, congratulations on your new show, Turner and Hooch. It's an update on the 1989 movie with Tom Hanks. So tell us about the show and about your role in it. And we're actually going to drop a trailer for it in the comments. So if y'all are watching and want to check out the trailer, do that after this broadcast is over. Don't leave us to go to that. But anyway, go ahead, Paul. <laughs> uh, so it's fantastic. It stars Josh Peck as Turner and he plays, uh, he's like Tom Hanks's sons. He's like the next generation of Turner and Hooch. And basically it is just sort of a modern, fun, family friendly update on that beloved movie. And I play one of the most fun characters that I've ever played in my life. I play this small town cop, Grady Garland. And he's, uh, I play Josh Peck's ex brother-in-law. So he was like, he was married to Josh's sister and he's just a total doof and he like, he means well, <laughs> but he's a total ding dong. And uh, he, I, I show up around episode four and then start weaving my way into the story to the big finale. And then I have like, the, the final episode is some of the most fun 
TV I've ever done in my entire life because he's wrapped up in this the huge crime and he's trying his best. But he's a total dummy. Uh, <laughs> it's really fun. This show, what they've done so smartly is it's really, really um, like it's really grounded. There's a lot of heart, but it's really funny. They sort of go back and forth between real, real heartfelt moments and then some huge sort of slapstick, big comedy moments. And uh, it's not an easy line, line to walk and they do a really good job. Josh Peck is so damn funny. Uh, he's kind of a Jason Bateman type a little bit, you know, where you're like, he's understated um, and hilarious. And the, the rest of the cast is great. The dogs are, adorable and slobbery and amazing and people are gonna love this show it's really it's a really great show is it really really funny or really 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 funny <laughs> i mean we, we reserve those triple reallys for special occasions you know like special actors i don't know if we want to just be handing them out like candy here but, um, but yeah i'll give it two reallys you know i feel like i could afford it today <laughs> it's good to know. I like that. <laughs> yes, yeah. On the scale of really so really, anyway, really I funny. <laughs> I can't wait to check it out. But can you share with us what was it like filming the show during the pandemic? Uh, it, I I filmed a few things during the pandemic. It was we started filming that show. It was delayed by almost a year in filming because of the pandemic. Uh, and it, by then, by the time we started filming, production had really, really figured out how to do it. The, the very first production that came back in BC when, when BC opened its doors, it was like one of the first productions in Canada was a movie that, a Hallmark movie that I was on. And that was a little chaotic because people were just sort of writing the rules for how to do this. But Turner and Hooch was great. We got tested every second day. Every single person on the cast and crew got tested every second day. It was mandatory masks, distancing. Like it definitely, it definitely changes the filming environment, but not for the worse. You, other than you just basically are sitting around in a mask most of the time. What it really does is it keeps you from craft service all the time. You're not just there uh. stuffing your face with M&Ms, <laughs> which is a problem that I have. And I'm like, I guess I can't just stuff my face with M&Ms all day because I got a mask on. So for that, it was great. I say keep the masks on. We all look better for it, you know. Yeah, so we were doing we were doing our dry run yesterday, and uh, and we're trying a new a new setup. And I was I was like, you know what? I need to to have some all green M and M's. I need somebody to give me all green M and M's. So is that is that how it is on the set? Do y'all y'all have to have a specific color, or is it does it get that bourgeois on set? No, uh, people like you just get fired. All green M and M's. Out of here. We got no time for you. Uh, you know what, to be honest, there are, there are actors that I've worked with that like, I'll eat basically anything. Um, but there are actors that get up to the, the food truck and they're maybe they're there for like a day and they're like, yeah, actually I'm keto. Can you do a fat thing? <laughs> like, can you do like a boiled chicken breast? The, the guys are just like, nah. No, I can't. Get out of here. What do you think this is? The Shangri La? Get out of here. Um, I'm not, maybe I'm not on big enough projects for people to pull that kind of crap. Like, I'm sure if Tom Cruise walked up and he was like, hey, I'm on a keto thing, they'd be like, uh, yes, Your Highness. And then they would do it, but not on, not on movies with the budget, their shows with the budgets that I'm on. They're just like, beat it, losers. Yes. <laughs> well, well, I, I asked for um, I asked for all green M and M's. They just brought me some Reese's, so they're like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like we we don't care what you want. No, it's all. Right. <laughs> hey, yeah, it doesn't hurt to ask, right? It doesn't, doesn't hurt. hurt. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to feel important for like three seconds, and then I'm back to back to normal, back to the regular. But isn't that worse? You try to feel important, and then somebody slaps your hand a bit, and you feel less important when you walk away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So I'm curious about uh, uh, one of your co-stars in particular. You mentioned some slobbery dogs. Um, so did, did you get a chance to work with Hoops much or, or what was that like? Well, the, 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 so there's like six hooches on this show, right? Because <laughs> the, the dogs, they're extraordinary, first of all. But each dog kind of has their own specialty. Like some dogs are good at just, <clears throat> some of the dogs can just be chill. 
some of the dogs are good at uh, getting riled up. Like the, the trainers are so good. And what you don't see on a, on a show like this or any show that involves animals is whenever, um, whenever you're in a scene, because they have to have the dogs give a specific look or they bark at a specific time, there is like a, there is a trainer standing just beside the actor or just off camera going, good boy, good boy, good boy. You stay, you stay, good boy. And you're like, can I, can I just say my like, good boy. <laughs> hoot, 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 good boy, good boy. And you're like, I, I don't even know. <laughs> you know my lines are right now. So. It's really, it's really funny. And then you see it cut together and you're like, oh, they can't even tell there was a person there. Just like, it becomes all about the trainer and the treat and the dog. And, uh, it, but the dogs are so, they're so intelligent and they're so slobbery and they're so cute. Like people just are constantly wiping slobber off their shoes and pants. <laughs> it just fits everywhere. Um, Josh Peck is such a trooper. I mean, he works with Hooch 70%, 80% of the time. And basically, it's 90% of the time just trying to get Hooch to do the thing, to get the dog to do the thing. And Josh just like rolls along with it for eight months. He just like never a single complaint. That guy is a saint. I'll, I'll say that, you know? Awesome. Um, yeah, it, but it's, it's really fascinating to watch those dogs and those trainers. It's really fun. It makes you want to just take one home at the end of the day, but they're like, <laughs> you can't do that. You're not allowed to. <laughs> That's stealing. <laughs> I think during my career, I have been missing somebody yelling good girl and throwing treats at me this whole time. I, I don't know how I missed out on that opportunity. I would have got a lot hey, of further boss, If you're too. watching, I do accept treats. So, go girl. And the occasional go girl. Yes. Go girl. Thank you. I feel so validated. Thank you so much. So, Paul, how did you get started in the business? What, how did, you know, how did you get, how did you get into acting? Uh, just in the dumbest way you can imagine, <laughs> I uh, I was I was I was building houses. I was a I was a carpenter. I was going to be a carpenter my whole life. That's all I wanted to do. And then I did it for about four years in Vancouver. And uh, it rains probably six months a year in Vancouver. It rains a lot. And after the fourth year of fifty percent rain, I was like, I don't think I really like this so much. And uh, a friend of mine was doing background work on a movie and he said, you should come and do, be an extra. I'm getting paid more than you. I'm on set, I'm eating food, I'm having a great time. So I was like, maybe I'll go take an acting class. And I took an acting class and uh, that was it. I was like, oh, I think I love this. And then I went back to the boys at work and I was like, I'm going to theater school. <laughs> they were like, what? <laughs> and uh, I, did. I went to theater school and that was it. I just kind of never looked back. That's excellent. Chasing that dream. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, weird, like, discovering that it was my dream without ever knowing it was my dream. I just found, I just stumbled upon this thing that I was, that I fell in love with. And I was like, I think I'm just going to do that. Yeah, and, I, I, uh, liked, I liked the way your friend was like, dude, I'm making way more than you. And I'm not he doing was. Like, <laughs> like, what are you, what are you doing? What a dick. I'm still friends with that guy. <laughs> day. I should, I got to bring that oh back. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I should be like, well, how are you doing now? How are you doing now? Exactly. <laughs> Let me see your tax returns. <laughs> I probably shouldn't. That's horrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's still doing better than me, which is really frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> but is he part of this very important annual tradition in millions of households? Hallmark Christmas movies. You mentioned this a little bit ago. So you've starred in several Hallmark movies. So what's it like being part of such a beloved tradition? I've hit double digits. I'm I'm into 10 now. That oh, I've done. Huge. Uh, not Christmas. I think this will be, this year will be seven, maybe seven Christmas movies. Um, it's really, truly extraordinary. And I gotta be honest, when when I first started acting, uh, even the idea of just industry-wide being, doing, um, doing a Hallmark movie was sort of akin to like being a soap opera actor a little bit, you know, it was like, mm -hmm. everyone's like, yeah, I mean, technically they're actors. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but 
Hallmark changed a lot. Hallmark, under the the guidance of uh, of Bill, um, uh, I've totally forgotten his last name. This is not going to go well. Um, but he, <laughs> <laughs> he he changed the face of it, and these movies, Bill Abbott, these movies became they started to get really good. And the first script that I did was for a movie called Window Wonderland, and I read it, and I was like, why am I why, why are we turning our noses up these? This is fantastic. And I did it and I fell in love and I was like, sign me up. I want to do this forever now. So I've done one a year for the past, I guess, seven years. This would be seven years. I start shooting my next one in two weeks. Um, I'm writing two. I've got two that I'm writing that will be on the air this year and, I've, and I'm starring in one. So I'll be, in, I'll be part of three of what I guess is 35 or 40 Christmas movies. Uh, I'm, I'm just aiming for the title of Mr. Christmas over here. I'm going for Mr. <laughs> Christmas. That's your title in our books for sure. And I think Bill Abbott, is that who you were thinking yeah, of? Yeah, Bill Abbott. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. He hey, is, good uh, good he's, save, Julie. Go ahead. I said, good I'll save, Google good Chief. save, Julie. Good girl. <laughs> Google is her friend. Good girl, Julie. Good girl. <laughs> Well, thanks to the pandemic, I even started watching Hallmark movies last Christmas just because of the pandemic, because like, what else are we going to do? So and? I had not watched them before. At first, I was like, every one of these have the same storyline. What is going on here? Hell They're yeah. changing that. They're changing it. I promise you this year. Uh, it's there 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 will still be some similar storylines but they're really changing the format and the formula over there they're they're reverting back to a more traditional rom-com and they're telling stories mm -hmm. that aren't just these sort of two-hander you know boy meets girl boy doesn't get along with girl boy almost loses girl they kiss happy end but they're getting away from that a little bit uh, with the two that I'm writing and even the one that I'm working on, they're all, they feel really different. So they happen uh, to just meet right back up underneath the mistletoe and bam. And then what are you going to do? You got to smooch, right? You do. You have to. And I, I'm sorry. I love those movies. That's a great escape. And it's not Christmas without the Hallmark Channel and the wonderful movies that come out each season. So thank well, you for I'm bringing hooked. joy to us. Oh, yeah. yeah you're hooked. so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I do it for myself I it brings me so much joy and the fact that other people enjoy it as well is just sort of the cherry on top but I truly do do, do it for myself because they're so fun to work on well well we, we've been talking about 20 minutes and I already can tell that you're you got a really good personality and you got a kind of vivid imagination so uh, you mentioned that you starting to co-write some of these holiday movies so did your, your acting experience uh help you as a writer like I'm just trying to understand like what's the different perspective you have from a, from a writer's perspective vice being on the other side of the camera. Yeah, a little bit. I, I, I think the, the, the reason that I was successful as an actor early on is because I've always sort of lived by this idea that I could do something until somebody told me that I couldn't do it. I got like, I think I could just do that. And then with acting, I said, I think I can just do that. And then I started to do it. And nobody said, hey, guy, you're in the wrong room. You got to get out of here. Yeah. And it worked. And with writing, I had, when I sold my first idea, which was for a movie called Sunset and Romance, I had done three Hallmark movies at the time. And I was like, I think I could come up with an idea. So I just reached out to, to an executive at Hallmark and said, hey, I have an idea for a movie. And uh, they said, great. We love it. We'd like to make that. And I went, oh, I guess I could do this. And then... And then I decided to, with a co-star of mine, we wrote a script. Kimberly Susted and I wrote a script together on spec. We had an idea and we walked into the network and they said, we love it. We'd like to buy it. And that was, we filmed that last year. That was the first movie that I wrote and starred in. And now they're sending me stuff. Now they're, they're like, hey, we had this script come in. It's not quite shootable. Can you take it and, and rework it? And I went, yeah, I can do that. And I've had two. So now I've, I've literally have two on the go right now that have come from Hallmark. I kind of opened the door and they said, here you go. And I, the funny thing about being an actor and writing is that I, I basically just walk around saying all the lines out loud. A lot of writers don't have the luxury of knowing 
how they would be delivered. Maybe that's not fair to say, but as an actor, like my son is always like, dad, who are you talking to? Huh? Uh, oh, nobody. I'm just saying lines. He's like, you were talking, I heard you talking to somebody. No, I just walk around like a crazy person, just <laughs> constantly out louding these lines and then refining them. Does that sound right? Does that sound right? So I play all the characters uh, in every movie that I write, just ridiculous, just walking around. <laughs> <laughs> like multiple personalities, just walking around. <laughs> do, do you play the trainer too? Are you the, tra are you the trainer of, for the dog and the, you, the dog? I and do it, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I do the off-camera stuff that you don't even see. I'm training the dog behind this, the whole thing. Yeah. 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 Great. Paul, we have America's soldiers, airmen, guardians, sailors, Marines, and Coast Guard members joining us from around the world. What words of hope or encouragement can you share with our nation's heroes? Oh man, that's a good, that's a, that's a good one. Um, first of all, let me just say truly thank you all for your service. Uh, I, I honestly don't think that I could do what I do if you all didn't do what you do. You, you keep the world safe, you make it a better place so some dumb dumb like me can, you know, enjoy my life making movies and writing movies. Um, uh, and I could not do uh, what you all do. You probably could do what I do. I think anybody could be an actor, but I, I don't think that I would be cut out for the military. So I certainly appreciate everything that you do um, for, for not only for America, but for the world. In Canada, we feel pretty well taken care of by uh, the American military as well. So thank you for that. And thank you for those words, Paul. Uh, we really appreciate that. So we want to just take a second to take a look at our live feed and pause and read some of those comments to you. Um, we have Denise Hunter who says, hi, uh, exchange family and Paul. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm scrolling fast. No. Nope. Cheryl says, love me some Hallmark movies. Hi, Cheryl. Love me some Cheryl who loves Hallmark movies. <laughs> and Marisa says, keep the Hallmark movies coming. I guess she likes them too. Uh, We're working on it. I think there's going to be a thousand next year. Uh, that's my <laughs> a thousand. thousand. So don't stay tuned. Yeah, don't quote me on that. I'm only going to be in 630 of them. <laughs> it's a lean year for me. Two a day. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> They're very fast movies. I am. And then uh, from Chief's page, Chief um, Tech Sergeant Rodrigue is watching. She says hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Lindsay. Lindsay, Lindsay is a, a huge supporter of Chief Chat. And so she, she's like our roadie. And so, so, yes. <laughs> so we, I think she's like our top her. number one fan. She's our top. Really? Fan. Oh, great. So, so Paul, can you let us know who inspired you as an actor? Like, did you have any actor idols growing up or any type of dream co-star, somebody you want to share the screen with? I would say two. For Bill Murray, probably Ghostbusters is my favorite movie of all time. Um, oh, yeah. Ghostbusters Good is a choice. classic. Oh, yes. uh, Bill Murray is extraordinary in everything that he does. For me, and I don't know, even to this day, the stuff that he does, I think I enjoy him so much as a person as well. The stories that I've heard and everything I read, uh, he would be a dream co-star. Um, Paul Newman, before he passed away, was also just one of somebody that I grew up watching and somebody whose performance has always really inspired me. He had this like just effortless charm and this ease about him on camera that is so rare. So uh, I would say those two, Paul Newman and, and Bill Murray, but if I could work with anybody, it would be Bill Murray. Uh, maybe we'll see if we can get him come to a Hallmark movie. He honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. He's the guy that'd be like, yeah, I'll do that. He's, he's, he does seem like that kind of guy. So maybe I'll reach out to him. You've, you've inspired me. I'm gonna reach out to Bill. See what he's up to. I love that. Put that in the, put that in the atmosphere. Yeah. Man. Bill, get on the, get on the hard mark train. What are you doing? What are you waiting he's on? He's probably watching right now. Bill, if you're watching. <laughs> Bill, if you're out there, Bill. drop us a note in the comments. No, we, we love Bill Murray here at the exchange. 
And we also dropped the link to um, the Turner and Hooch trailer in the comments. So you guys be sure to check that out right after this. But Paul, can you remind our viewers where they can go to follow you and find out more about what you're up to? And then where can they find out more about Turner and Hooch? Yeah, I'm, I'm on Instagram at Paul Campbell official. Uh, I'm on Twitter at the Paul Campbell. And um, you can go find out more about Turner and Hooch on uh, probably on Disney Plus. It's gonna it'll air on Disney Plus July sixteenth. Is that right? Sixteenth. Yes, sir. 16th. Oh, that's coming up so fast. It is. That's, that's right around next, that's week. next week. Next week. That's right here. Wow, I just put that together. Um, <laughs> yeah, Disney Plus. They'll have Disney Plus is your one stop Turner and Hooch shop. Ooh, that sounded good. <laughs> that did sound good. <laughs> You, you could be a writer. I should be a writer. <laughs> Good boy. Good, Good boy. boy. Exactly. Oh, man, Paul, man, we had a, this has been a wonderful conversation we've had with you. Uh, uh, definitely appreciate you spending time with us and sharing your journey because you, I wouldn't have thought that you started off as a carpenter and you, you know, just so happy kind of stumbled into acting and then you just so happened to stumble into writing and just, you know, all this stuff all these stars align for you in your life, man. But uh, we appreciate you and we, we appreciate the, the comfort that you kind of, you know, you thank us for our service, but you know, what you're doing for us is, is, is getting our mind away from all this craziness that we deal with on a, on a regular basis. And you're giving us like a, like Julie said, her, her little, that's her ritual. That's her sanctuary, her Hallmark movies. She loves them. And, uh, and, and, you know, you just do a lot for, for the world in general, just, you know, by, by entertaining and acting and, and, and what you do. So we thank you for what you do. We thank you for your support for the military community. Uh, and we appreciate you sharing your time with us today. Well, thank you so much for having me. This has been great. What a pleasure. Uh, I'll come back anytime you want me. Oh, man. That's, hey, get them on the, get them on the schedule again. <laughs> come on. Hey, Chief. <laughs> yeah. Do we have time for one more quick question? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Cheryl is asking, who on Hallmark is your favorite to work with? She says, I love watching Rachel Boston and Lacey... Shaber, is that right? Yeah. How do you say it? Shaber, yeah. yeah. Um, I am not going to answer that question because <laughs> <laughs> that's like, wait, hey, mom, there's ten kids. Which one of us is your favorite? And you're like, <laughs> you're like, oh, I have a favorite, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> you're all my favorite. You're all my favorite. That's the right answer. Yeah, you're all my favorite. It's a really small community. That is literally. <laughs> walk into the crowd and then they'll be like, I'm not working with him anymore because I wasn't his favorite. <laughs> oh, this is really? Why the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, thanks. They're all my favorite. <laughs> Good answer. Love that, it. That was Love a setup. Oh, that, that was, was a setup. Yeah, that was. I sidestepped that one real quick. Smooth. Real smooth. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Yeah. Awesome. Good boy, yes. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, gosh. Well, no, we, we can definitely so talk much. to you all day, but we, we definitely appreciate your time. And uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the show, uh, the live show. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, Chief Chat out. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>